Harvey, we need to talk. We sure do. And I'm sorry, Donna. I know you're going to disagree with me, but... That woman needs to go. Now. What? What do you mean, what? That's what I was going to say. So? So you're not going to try and talk me out of it. That's so unlike you. Huh. Hmm. That is unlike me. Maybe you're not going to try and talk me out of it because you're less uptight since we, um... Since we... what? Nothing. Since we nothing. That's right. Because if anybody was uptight, it was you. But I'm the one acting consistently. Okay, maybe I was uptight. Or maybe I've had it with Faye's bullshit. I prefer my uptight theory. Well, I prefer that Faye not find out that it wasn't Robert who broke privilege. It was us. Wait, what are you talking about? She just asked me to schedule an exit interview with Thomas. Donna, we can't let that happen. Thomas won't lie for us again. I know. So the question is, how do we stop it? <laughs> well, if we can't ask Thomas to lie again, there's only one way out. Make it so he doesn't have to talk to her at all. Harvey. Thomas, you mind if I come in? I really don't think we have much to talk about. Unfortunately, we do. Because as a result of that hearing, the bar installed someone to watch every move we make. And now she wants to ask you why you're leaving. And you know I'm not going to lie again. Which is why I'm here, to ask you not to leave. You've got to be joking. Just hear me out, please. You've been with us a long time. And in that time, we have tripled your business. We've taken you public. And completely betrayed my trust. No. I betrayed my own client for you. I lost my friend and my partner for you. And if I had done the technically right thing, you'd have lost your expansion. Now, I'm not saying we didn't make mistakes. And I know I need to earn back your trust. I'm just asking you to give us a chance to do that. Let me ask you this. Who is Donna to you? She's the most important person in my life, Thomas. And she knows it. When? The night I was cleared. OK. OK. I'll stay with your firm, on one condition. From now on, you're my lawyer, not Alex. Thomas, I'm not sure that's the best idea. Well, it's the only one that's going to work for me, because I don't trust him anymore. And you were just honest with me about the most difficult question I'll ever ask. And you didn't flinch. OK. But now that you know the truth, I can get past all that. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. <clears throat> uh, excuse me, miss. I'm here to sign an engagement letter, but perhaps you can help me. Thomas, right on time. Well, what can I say? I'm nothing if not punctual. Well, Lewis always did say that it was one of your many stellar qualities. Oh, really? And what were some of my others? Loyalty, integrity, height. <laughs> height. What can I say? Lewis prizes what he doesn't have. And the fact that you got that full head of hair, <laughs> that makes you practically a god. Well, as much as I could talk about my stellar qualities all day. Um, if we do that, then this engagement letter won't sign itself. No, it won't. Well, all you have to do is sign it, and I will make sure that Harvey gets it right away. Oh, it's OK, Don. I could drop it off. He and I have some business to discuss anyway. It's good to see you, Thomas. It's good to see you, too.